Hello! Today I'm watching episode 4 of the Super Smash Brothers show. This series is created by my friend Johnny, so if you are not subscribed to him already, make sure you click the link in the description and subscribe. I'm going to be reacting to all the episodes in this series, so make sure you subscribe to me as well. To recap from previous episodes, the biggest things that you need to know is that there is dark magic and light magic. Light magic users include people like Zelda. Zelda's all like, yeah, happiness, joy, emotion, yay. Dark magic, we haven't seen much of yet, but it seems like it's more of a like taking and using kind of thing. The legendary dark witch, who is like the famous dark magic user, is apparently back in action and starting to like do stuff again and so everybody is freaking out there's like letters going out to all of the different rulers who all happen to be women which totally awesome but yeah everybody seems like they're going in full panic mode oh also there's like a heaven realm called paradise there's earth and then there's the inferno which is basically kind of like hell can you say hell on youtube i feel like you must be able to, right? Anyways, Paradise and Inferno don't get along, and Earth is kind of stuck somewhere in the middle. Earth is the realm of chaos, which is appropriate. And now on to the episode. I love how the episodes are starting with intros now. These intros are so cool. Ooh, is this Meta Knight's mission? So Meta Knight is on a mission from Princess Rosalina. Princess Rosalina, we don't think is a good guy, so this is probably an evil mission. Samus has like gone against Rosalina at this point and is not really on the same side with that. So Samus is probably not happy with what she just saw from Meta Knight, but Samus and Meta Knight are like best buddies. So, drama! Oh hey, we've got like some reoccurring characters now. We haven't seen a lot of reoccurring characters between the episodes. We haven't found out what the legendary Dark Witch is going to actually be doing. And apparently they want to destroy everyone. <laughs> like literally everyone. Oh, it seems like they're trying to team up with allies, but she doesn't really want to team up with them. I wonder who it is. I wonder if it's somebody we've seen already or if it's somebody new. We're like really seeing like all the characters from the first episode. Dark. Leaving the students in charge feels like when your parents go out and they just are like, okay, oldest kid, you have to take care of the younger kids. Ooh, scary music, scary music. Why is there scary music? They're jumping down to earth. Oh. Wait, is she the ruler of Inferno? I love how this is all connecting up though and we're seeing all the different characters from the first three episodes. Cause the first three were very like isolated and now it's just like all connecting together. This is so exciting. Oh, Jigglypuff and Isabel. And you're her handsome sidekick. Sidekick? Poor Isabel. Be nice to Isabel. Ew, no. Do you really mean that? Yeah, you really mean that? Look, <laughs> like, though. Yep, sure did, Verbo. Aww, they're gonna be like, besties. Aww, I hope Isabel becomes a recurring character. I thought she was just gonna be, like, very, very minor, but, like, oh, she's so cute. I don't want innocents like Isabel to die. Aww. I don't want Isabel right, to die. Are, to oh, so Lady Palatina yes. is trying to I'm team up with Zelda. I'd love to kill the princess of Hyrule. <laughs> yes. Oh, what yeah. I hear, you know, that idea is not half bad. Yeah. No, bad idea, oh. bad idea. Oh no, is Samus like being yeah. evil again? No, Samus, you were good. gonna get out. Oh, oh hey. Is that uh oh. Let's get it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! They need to be allies though if they're gonna deal with the Dark Witch. No, 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 no! Don't start fighting, you dummies! Oh, the himbos are at it again. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Bayonetta is the Dark Witch! That's what I was thinking early on, but then it showed like the like the Enderman person, so I was like, no, it can't be. But it is Bayonetta. That makes a lot more sense. We will definitely lend you our army for this cause. Link, excuse me. Uh, right. Look, we will definitely lend you our army for this cause. Oh. Like 
real dumb. Oh no, but getting expensive. the whole kingdom on board though, like, like having their army? Exactly, like they can take their whole army and that would be super useful. is a teensy tiny bit evil. Oh, she noticed. It's pretty obvious you weren't able to do much with your magic. They're like listing out all the people that are in the, those groups in the Federation. Oh, so Byla and Byleth are actually like part of the Federation. But they're all part of Inferno then, right? She's one of the kindest beings I've ever had the pleasure of overseeing. No, she's definitely not kind. She's definitely the most evil and she's been like pretending to be kind. Oh, so they're gonna have... Rosalina's gonna try to convince the Mushroom Kingdom to work with them and then Zelda's gonna try to yeah. convince them too. <laughs> Will they all end up working together or are they gonna end up kind of split? Oh, cliffhanger! Wow, okay, so that was super cool. I love how all of the characters in the three previous episodes are now combined in this fourth episode together. The previous three episodes were all very like standalone, like you could watch them kind of almost in any order for the most part, but like this one just like took all three of those and like jumbled up the characters, had them start interacting. So it seems like the story is like really getting rolling. Like we have all the exposition done and now it's just gonna like go from here. Also, it seems like all the characters are meeting up at the Mushroom Kingdom. So I don't know what's gonna happen next, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen there. I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of negotiation between the different kingdoms to try to figure out how they're gonna fight the legendary dark witch. This episode confirmed that the legendary dark witch is Vega Bayonetta, which was like my first instinct because like I know Johnny and I know Johnny like loves Bayonetta and I was like okay Bayonetta's gotta come in here in some like big pivotal role but then like seeing the Minecraft Enderman person thing totally threw me off and I thought it was like the Minecraft character but anyway yep confirmed Bayonetta. I wonder when you're gonna actually see Bayonetta in one of these episodes. I have a feeling it's gonna be like the most epic reveal ever. If you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe. I'll be reacting to all the videos in this series. I also post reactions to Pokemon anime and make Pokemon videos in general. Oh, and I live stream on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. EST. Bye.